Question number two, Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What reports has he received on New Zealand's economic performance and particularly the outlook for growth over the next few years? Hon. Bill English. Well, last week, the OECD issued its latest economic outlook for New Zealand. It noted that economic growth in New Zealand uh, remains sound despite the sharp fall in dairy prices since February. It said that recent business opinion surveys point to near-term growth rates continuing in excess of 3 per cent before moderating to a more sustainable rate of 2.75 per cent by 2016. Uh, I th think this, uh, this forecast is probably a little bit optimistic. And it said strong job creation is boosting household incomes and consumption and has reduced the unemployment rate from 7.2 per cent uh, following the financial crisis to 5.4 per cent. Uh, and the OECD, I believe, is absolutely right about that. Uh, and they say wage and price pressures remain modest, which is important because that points to a sustainable period of economic growth. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Tim McIndoe. What other reports has the Minister received about New Zealand business confidence and how is that expected to translate into employment and investment growth? Honourable Bill Speaker, English. The ANZ's latest business outlook survey described the economy as being in, quote, a sweet spot. Uh, demand indicators remain strong, but inf inflation is benign. At the moment, the survey confirmed good growth, employment and investment indicators. Business confidence lifted again in November, uh, up five points on previous month. However, there are challenges, including uh, news overnight of a further fall in prices on the latest GDT auction. While dairy prices are significantly below their record highs, prices for other commodities, including aluminium, beef and sheep meat, and kiwi fruit are still rising, and uh, I notice that also the oil price continues to drop, which points to lower prices at the petrol pump. So, on balance, while dairy prices are down, uh, New Zealand is sufficiently resilient to handle uh, that kind of event. Further supplementary question. Supplementary question, Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is the elevated level of business confidence and optimism shared by other surveys the Minister has received? Hon. Bill well, English. Mr Speaker, there are a number of recent surveys that point to continued optimism about the economy, uh, including, for instance, NZIER's uh, survey, where they observed that the recovery is largely funded out of current income rather than borrowing. And I think that's the point. It's the quality of economic growth as much as the optimism about it, optimism about it that matters, and that it is broad-based uh, and it looks sustainable over a period of several years, which should deliver income increases to New Zealand households. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. In light of the six to seven billion dollar hole in the New Zealand economy created by the drop in dairy prices, can he confirm the OECD's view that New Zealand has one of the least diversified export profiles in the OECD and that it has got worse under his watch? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, no, I can't actually confirm that. That's, that's a matter of opinion. But, for instance, well, I'll just give you an example. I'll just give you an example. Australia is twice as dependent on iron ore as New Zealand is on dairy. That's quite an important point. And secondly, we do have a broadening range of exports, many of which find their prices are going up, not down. Unlike the opposition, we have confidence that New Zealanders and the New Zealand economy are sufficiently resilient to handle a drop in dairy prices. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will the government continue to support ongoing economic growth, new jobs and higher incomes into the future? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the government will uh, set out again its priorities uh, at the half-year update on the 16th of December, uh, and this will build on the government's programme over the past six years. Uh, which has included, first, responsible management of the government's finances, second, building a more productive and competitive economy through a continued process of microeconomic reform in the business growth agenda, 
Uh, third, delivering better public services for the same or less money. And finally, providing the resources to uh, carry on with and complete the rebuild of Christchurch. Question number three, Bond Mark. Thank you, Mr.